I do think it's incredible how strong and how you've been able to, to cope really. And I put that down to your really early years, childhood experience, mm. but also the relationship that you've got. You're amazingly close. Yeah. And yes, you know. Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it, you know, and some families sadly aren't as lucky as, as no, you guys have been just, and yeah. being able to share but, things. You know, you are, you know, uniquely um, bonded because of what we've been through. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, even Harry and I, over the years, have not talked enough about, our, our, you know, our mother. You know, we've, no, we've never enough. We've Has doing this bit, campaign but... sort of made you realise that? To yeah, I, I, th I, I think so. I always thought to myself, you know, what's the point in bringing up the past? What's the point in bringing up something that's only going to make you sad? It ain't going to change it. It ain't going to bring her back. And when you start thinking like that, it can be really damaging. And you always said to me, you said, you know, you've got to sit down and think about those memories. But for me, it was like, don't want to think about it. Yeah. But it's, I think, it, what must was happen with us and must happen with others as well is that you have to prioritise, you know, prioritise your mental health. Yeah. You have to say to yourself um, at some point, because it's very easy to run away from it, you know, yeah. to walk away from it and avoid it the whole time. You know, someone has to take the lead and has to be brave enough to, to force that conversation. There are times when, whoever we are, it is hard to cope with challenges. And when that happens, being open and honest and asking for help is life-changing. For too long, it has been a case of keep quiet and carry on. It is our ambition to make this year's Virgin Money London Marathon the mental health marathon. In the course of our work, how talking can help heal hidden challenges that we can't deal with alone. We have seen that two heads are better than one when dealing with a mental health problem. Our campaign will showcase people from all walks of life, talking about the life-changing conversations that have helped them with their mental health challenges. You don't need any qualifications to help your mate out, simply to listen to what they have to say. At the heart of this campaign is our hope that no one should be afraid to ask for help. Whether you're a white van driver yeah. or an Olympian, it actually makes no difference yeah. because what you've, what you've had to go through, you are actually unbelievably similar to each other. What? <laughs> That's a good start. I think it's not weakness. I believe weakness is realising an issue in yourself and not sorting it. Yeah. Our runners will be raising money for some of the nation's leading mental health charities and will be starting conversations with their friends, families and colleagues about the importance of talking openly about mental health and help make it the marathon for mental health. Together we can start the biggest ever national movement to end stigma on mental health and change the conversation for everyone. Mental health is just as important as physical health. We can all play our part by talking and listening to each other and helping each other find support. Let's get our heads together and change the conversation on mental health. <laughs>